guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jokebel purple also called joe and i'm a singer a makeup artist and actor based in lagos city nigeria if this is your first time seeing me thank you so much for clicking to watch this video welcome welcome again if this is not your first time you guys are the <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. Now today we're going to talk about a common issue that I think a lot of persons would have experienced at some time in their life losing the voice. Whether it's due to illness or overexertion or excessive talking, losing your voice can be very very frustrating. It's something I experienced just a few weeks ago, not being able to talk, not being able to sing. But fear not, in this video I'll share some effective tips and exercises to help you regain your voice quickly. So let's get started. Now, before we dive into the solutions, yeah, let's first understand why we lose our voice in the first place. I didn't even know that excessive talking was a problem. I had no idea that there was something called, I'm not going to call the name, so I don't start going medical, I'm not a medical doctor, but from my own experience, I didn't even know that if you talk for a very long period of time, you have issues with your vocal cords. I had no idea. Now I know excessive talking for a very, very long period may cause issues, may cause some, some not so nice issues in your vocal cords. They are... Uh, colds yes viral infections vocal strains environmental factors like dry air what else but knowing the cause can help you choose the right approach to regaining your voice so that's what this video is about how you can regain your voice quickly so the first and most crucial step is to give your vocal cords a break yes is that a step yes it's a step i wish i knew that though because i wouldn't have suffered for the time frame that i suffered for give your voice a break it's like you have an injury and you're poking that injury and you're still expecting that injury to heal how is that possible I was having issues with my vocal cords and I was in serious pain, but I was still talking for very, very long hours. <sighs> People were like, take a break, but I couldn't because of what I was doing at the time, so I couldn't. So please, the first thing you want to do is take a break. Now, the second thing to help you regain your voice quickly is stem therapy. Yes, it's another great way to relieve your vocal cords irritation. What you want to do is you want to boil water and just cover yourself, put your head and just cover yourself and just inhale, just keep inhaling the steam. Be cautious so you don't cautious so you don't burn yourself well. Just be inhaling the steam. You can do this for about 10 to 15 minutes daily if you can afford twice a day. Trust me, it helps. It's going to help to just there's something it does to your vocal cords, it's going to just help to soothe soothe that pain that you're feeling so steam therapy is definitely a must to do if you're having issues with your vocal cords so during boot camp the voice nigeria they used to call us to come and take honey ginger and did we get lemons i think we did get lemons so prior to that time i won't even lie i didn't know that these things used to help the vocal cords in any way ginger yes ginger honey did i call ginger before oh my confusing myself i'm so sorry <laughs> Okay, I didn't know that these things used to actually help you before. I had no idea that as, the, as least a singer, you should be able to be taking these things. They help. So during um, my stay, they were always giving us those things to help our vocal cords always. Boil warm water and all of that to help your vocal cords. So now if you're having issues with your vocal cords, you're having pain, what some persons may typically call sore throat or something, you want to be able to boil warm water, add your honey and your ginger and lemons if you have and keep drinking trust me I've, I've told you guys three things and trust me they work like magic it's going to help to relieve if i had known i wouldn't have been pumping myself for painkillers as i was doing i know that was very wrong but i was in so much pain and i needed to talk i needed to speak so i was like painkillers but towards the end i found out these things and trust me they worked like magic and i was able to get my voice now let's move on to vocal exercises. Vocal exercises can help you regain your voice. You want to start with gentle humming, so you don't have to speak, you just want to hum. It's a perfect vocal exercise, so you're not um, doing too much. You're just like, to just keep some form of activity, but not too much with your vocal cords. So just hum, you can progress to scales, you can progress to lip trails, just to increase the flexibility and strength of your vocal cords. Trust me, they're gonna help you regain your voice. So you don't be sounding like, you know. <laughs> remember to use proper vocal techniques when speaking i didn't even know that most times you have to be in the middle what do i mean you don't have to shout too much and you don't have to whisper i didn't know i did my research trust me you want to avoid shouting or whispering because both can strain your voice so strain your vocal cords so you want to like be in the middle practice good posture good breathing to help support your voice so always try to keep a balance 
Also, the next thing you want to try to um, reduce exposure to dry, dusty, polluted environments. Yeah, you want to. You, you don't want to feel stuffed because you're trying to clear. You're trying to with all the steam therapy, with all the warm water, everything you're taking, you're trying to clear. So you don't want to be in a place that is very stuffy or dusty because trust me, it might not help you heal on time. Now, if this voice loss persists for more than a week, or maybe it's accompanied with severe pain, like what happened happened with me, I had to go to the hospital about three times and I had to take antibiotics. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but what you should do is to consult a healthcare professional so they can be more accurate with you and give you a good diagnosis and treatment. There you have it, guys. So these few tips and exercises that I shared with you, trust me, they're going to help you regain your voice quick, like, do you understand? So if you found these things helpful, give this, give this video a thumbs up, uh, share, comment if there are other ways please in the comment section because there are a lot of people that battle with these things so please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share share more tips down there and i will see you yes you in my very next video <laughs> bye